We can sometimes be extremely careless with how we treat our water. This is astonishing because it is the most valuable resource to the planet. For all of us living in developed countries, it sometimes feels like there's a seemingly endless supply of fresh water coming out of our tap. In truth, the Earth has a very small and limited supply of fresh water, and we must do everything in our power to protect it. on that are near our area and are polluted, the Mississippi River and Deer Creek and Western Rivers. St. Louis is located near the two longest rivers in the United States and uses both as our primary water source. The downside of this is that the Mississippi River was the second most polluted waterway in the United States and the Missouri River followed it up in 7th place. More than 12.7 million pounds of toxic chemicals like arsenic, benzene, and mercury were dumped into the Mississippi in 2012. The Missouri had over 5 million pounds of toxic chemicals dumped into its water in 2012. This creates an environment that is harmful to the ecosystem around the rivers and the millions of people who use their water every day. The more pollution that shows up in the river, the more contaminants that are in our water. And alongside all of those chemicals going into our water, it flows straight into the Gulf of Mexico and around the world. Deer Creek is a creek that runs through several parts of Webster Groves and flows for about 11 miles until it finally dumps into the river to fair. Deer Creek has always been just a small creek overrun with trash and chemicals. Surprisingly, Deer Creek is a widely diverse and semi-thriving ecosystem with multiple species of fish, turtles, snakes, and mammals utilizing its waters. Deer Creek is nowhere near a clean waterway, but it is getting there. And in part two, we will find out the solution. Missouri has made a huge effort to try to clean up the waterways in our state. Major contributions from Missouri Department of Conservation and the Botanical Gardens have made a huge difference. Here in Webster Groves, the Botanical Gardens have made an effort to clean up Deer Creek by starting the Deer Creek Watershed Alliance. The goal of this is to facilitate cleaner, safer water in Deer Creek with a focus on plant-based solutions. Their efforts to drastically change the ecosystem for the better. As for the Mississippi and Missouri rivers, there have been many different organizations that have made efforts to clean up the Mississippi. They go about cleaning up the rivers by picking up litter, educating companies, and attempting to keep future dumping out of the river. With continued efforts, eventually Missouri waterways can be clean and thriving. Alright, so out here today at the creek and uh, just finishing up the video. Just want to come out here today, kind of one show you what the creek looks like after a lot of rain. And I uh, wanted to pick up some trash just to kind of end the video off. And uh, got some stuff here, you know, a couple bags, some candy wrappers. And uh, But yeah, this is basically what the creek looks at like after a week, basically, of heavy rain. I'm not sure if you guys can see that through the trees too well, but uh, it's up about three or four feet. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video.